G'day Old Hammers, it's Brett from Salt Lake Old Hammer Gaming and it's been a while but uh, I've had some other projects and unfortunately those other projects is work. So, but we're back up and running and good news, I have finished all the Orcs and the Halfling for the Siege Battle Report. So I've got a couple of days off coming up so that's what I'll be doing, filming a, filming a Siege Battle. So that should be hopefully up in the next few days and um, yeah so all the goblins painted the orcs are painted the halflings painted the dwarves are done these are my orcs lovely figures <laughs> from back then general and the heroes in the background um, there's the orcs. Here's the other, some more goblin archers for the battle report. And 20 orc boys for the battle report. Now I did get a 3D printed giant, and um, but when I looked at him next to the castle, he, um, I don't think he was giant enough, so I ended up getting this fella. And, um, yeah, I think he's suitably giant enough. So happy with that. So I'm just cleaning out the um, the table because I've got crap everywhere. But um, well, I just wanted to do a quick shout out too because one of the guys that um, subscribes to the channel I work with. And his daughter has just gotten into painting. So I'll flash up a few pictures of that on how she's going. Now, I'm pretty impressed. Like, she's six. <laughs> so <laughs> it's definitely made me have to pull my socks up. <laughs> but she's really, really good and she's learning really, really well. So keep it up. I'm not going to use her name on, on here, but mate, she's a absolute gem. she probably have her own channel soon with um, how-to painting videos. That'd be awesome. But yeah, just got to get her into Old Hammer instead of Age of Sigma and 40K. <laughs> but uh, I'll just flash them up now. So yeah, I'm pretty impressed. Um, got to have a little look at her painting, but yeah, she's six years old and that's the quality she's cranking out now. So really, really well done. But um, other stuff I've been painting as well, like I've been painting, I've finished off these dwarves. So another 20 dwarves, just got a basin and that'll give me enough dwarves for a battle report with orcs and dwarfs so that's another thousand point army that i've got i haven't made any progress on the uh, on the empire yet but um i'm waiting for 10 more halberds to turn up because um yeah i didn't realize that there was only 12 in a box of y handers for the lands connect so that's not to worry I'll get sorted out, easy fix, but um, yeah, really, really happy. So that'll be a, that'll be another battle report out soon. Just gotta paint those green and base them up, and done to the end. So uh, things are still getting moving, despite my short attention span, because um, I did get a bit distracted by some stuff I'll just show you mind the sorry about the mess but um it might be a bit hard to see but um yeah bloody battle tech disheartened with the tenth edition of Warhammer um so yeah I was looking at 
that'll take. And that led on to other things, especially Alpha Strike. And I stumbled across some um, stats and things for more mecha combat that um, was absolutely huge when I was a kid. Um, still remains one of my favourite series, but um, it's using the Alpha Strike rules for Battletech, but with um, Robotech miniatures. So that's yeah something that I was, else that I was looking at. Um, oh, I still love Old Hammer. It'll always be the the ultimate, but yeah. Robotech was huge when I was a kid, so there's the um, reconnaissance pod. Uh, yeah, there's enough of that. And the uh, only other th army that I really promised myself when I was a kid that I painted up a couple of test figures for is um, good old American Civil War. So, yeah, I've got uh, muskets and tomahawks to have a look at, so that'll probably be coming in the, another video, but, hmm. but other than that, that's a, <laughs> it's a steep mountain to climb, I just want to thank everyone for subscribing and everything while I've been flat chat at work, pretty much flat chat like a lizard drinking, but uh, we're getting there. And I'm really, really looking forward to doing this battle report. Now, I haven't painted the Mighty Fortress because, um, yeah, you couldn't pull a pin out of my ass with a tractor painting that. So, because, yeah, it's just, I don't know, it's just so historic. So, I don't know, does anybody else feel like that? There's, there's just certain miniatures that you shouldn't paint because they're... Um, so historic, I don't know. That'd be interesting to, to hear. But, um, like I know if I bought some of these blister packs that you see, like $100 or $160 for a blister pack, I'd crack it open and paint it. But yeah, I just don't seem to be able to do that for Mighty Fortress. But there's some more, um, a few more orcs that I've got to paint up for the like field battle. Because you need a minimum of 20, 20 orc archers. But, um, yeah, 20 orc boys, got those. Got enough, um, goblins now for that. And archers as well for that. But, um, yeah, so, makings of two armies to, um, have another field battle. And then, uh, can't wait to get that one done. This one, the Empire. So, thanks for climbing that mountain, guys, with me. And uh, always remember, stay cool. Stay old, Hammer.